Hi, I'm Wayne Hudson, coming to you today from the Home of Grace in Van Cleve, and I have a guy here with me today that I'm looking forward to talking to, Stephen Campbell. Stephen, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Well, I was uh, born and raised in Ethel, Mississippi. Can you spell that, please? Oh, yeah. That's, Not Mississippi. Uh, that's E-T-H-E-L. Okay, I never heard of that one. I've been in Mississippi all my life. Are you sure that you didn't just make that up? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, Stephen, you came to the Home of Grace um, when? Uh, the end of January. The end of January what year? 1946? Uh, <laughs> I came at the end of January this year. Okay. Um, and what year is this? <laughs> this is 2019. Okay, let's get be specific here. Now, when you came to the Home of Grace, I want you to just share with me your first impression when you came and they put you out under the carport out front and and maybe over the next 24 hours what did you think about this place well first of all it was a big place um it was a nice place for sure mm -hmm. i didn't really know what to expect just because this is uh, my first rehab i've ever been to mm -hmm. um but and what, what about this is it the last one? Oh yes sir, by, <laughs> by far this is going to be the last okay. one. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Uh, not that we wouldn't want to see you again, but <laughs> we want to see you on a different set of circumstances. Yes sir. Um, Alright, what is it, that thing that made the biggest impression on you after you kind of settled in here at the Home of Grace? I think the biggest thing that made the biggest impression, excuse me, the biggest impression was uh, just the camaraderie mm -hmm. from the fellow brothers and the, uh, the staff here, they really, they really uh, care about you. Mm -hmm. And uh, looking back, I wouldn't have wanted to go to any other place. Great. Well, um, there's a lot of activity here, right? Yes, sir. You were a busy guy. Yes, sir, I was. And uh, what were some of the things that you did here at the Home of Grace that kind of stood out in your mind? Well, they, uh, here at the Home of Grace, they have the uh, weight room down there. It's behind a chapel. It's a pretty big weight room. Mm -hmm. um, I went there every day because you got to if you're going to eat here because they do feed you a lot. <laughs> they feed you pretty good. Uh -huh. Of course, we played volleyball, and uh, they had softball tournaments all the time. They had basketball games all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, ultimate Frisbee. You could go and fish if you wanted to. But mainly, the, uh, the weight room and the volleyball is my two biggest uh, things. Mm -hmm. Well... Got in good shape while you were here then? Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, well, you're going to need that when you get back and get to work. Yes, sir. What kind of work are you going to do? I'm not real sure right now. Um, God's uh, not revealed to me yet. He's revealed a few things that he might want me to do, but I've come to learn that uh, my way is not good and it's not sufficient, and the only way I'm going to do it is uh, listen to his word. Yeah. Are you excited about uh, getting back in and... and Finding out exactly what that is about what God's. I don't do. think I've ever been as excited to get back and uh, see what God has in store for me ever in my life. Uh huh. So that tells me that you're probably going to be successful. In the Lord, I think I'm going to be successful. Without Him, I ended up here because I uh, turned my back on God and mm -hmm. forsaken Him. Mm -hmm. And uh, through God's grace, He redeemed me. And uh, I feel like it's my obligation and my only right. Mm -hmm. uh, to uh, to walk in his path and serve him. Wow, I mean, we hear an awful lot of things from uh, a lot of our people that we interview here that are former residents of the Home Grace, but uh, that right there is encouraging to me to continue to doing what I do as far as teaching out here and counseling here and uh, even being a part of this little video program. Um, you got family back home, just excited about you coming back? Yes sir, I got a, a family back home. I have uh, one brother and my mom and daddy, of course. Uh, there was, uh, I believe, four churches that paid for me to come here. Mm -hmm. And they've been sending me stuff the whole time I've been in here, which is really a good blessing to me because I, I really didn't think I had anybody. Yeah. And uh, I'm, uh, I got a big support group back home and for that I'm very, very thankful. Mm -hmm. 
some of those ladies in the church sending you cakes and pies and all of that cookies and those uh, they didn't send me uh, cakes and pies but they did send me some honey buns and some cookies so I was grateful for that yeah um, have you got a church picked out oh, back yes home? sir I've uh, the church is uh, Second Baptist Church it's in uh, Kosciuszko Mississippi mm -hmm. which is only eight miles from Ethel uh, I've been going there since I was 13 years old and they uh, I mean, they really have helped me out more than what I was worthy for, mm -hmm. and it's because of them. And uh, I, I'll always be grateful for that church because I'm. I seem like I'm real good friends with my pastor, my youth director. She was probably the uh, best youth director, and probably in the whole wide world. Her name was Michelle Dees, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just a really, it's a really good church. Um, so I'm very thankful and very uh, excited to go back. The time that you spent here at the Home of Grace, did it? You think that's going to help you in your interaction with the church when you get get back home? Yes, sir. Well, the thing about it is, is you know, coming to the Home of Grace was probably the best thing ever happened in my life. For and a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons. It's not just the not just alcohol, drugs, whatever. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. it really. You know, you can become sober off of all that. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and if you don't walk in His path mm -hmm. and wake up every day asking Him how can you serve Him, you're gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna sustain it. And before this, you know, I didn't really even take into consideration the word ministry, uh, service, things like that. Mm -hmm. And I feel I feel like God calls us all to be uh, be servants of Him. And God's gonna automatically put you know, certain type of ministries in your path. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, if it wasn't for that, you know, there's no telling what would have happened. Yeah. Uh, so going for so having said that, I think it's going to be very important, very vital with my ministry to the church and whatever the church wants me to do, wherever they want me to go, say, do. And give me just a point of reference here, I guess you could say, because a lot of people wonder about the average ages of our uh, residents here. How old are you? I'm 28 years old. Okay. Well, you look a lot younger, just to be honest with you. And well, that, thank you. That'll come in handy when you get my age. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you'll look a lot younger when you get my age than I do right now. All I can say is that I'm, I'm thankful God's allowed me to live to be these 41 years. Well, you look, you look very nice. <laughs> I don't look like 41 <laughs> years old, though, do I? <laughs> um, listen, I am so glad you came up and spent this time with us today. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we end this? Well, I just want to say that I'm thankful for all the hands that was in the uh, was in the pot to get, bring me here. Mm-hmm. If you had told me 15 years ago that when I was 28 I'd lost everything and I uh, had to go to the home of grace um, mm -hmm. to get my life back right with Jesus Christ, you know, I'd look at you like you was kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. But, you know, sometimes that's just the way it's got to go. If you're one of God's ch children, He's not going to let you just wander off for long. Mm -hmm. He's going to be quiet at first trying to bring you back, but anybody that knows me knows that I'm kind of hard-headed to begin with. So. I've noticed that about you. <laughs> <laughs> so having said that, I'm, I'm forever grateful. This will forever be a home to me. Uh -huh. uh, that chapel will forever be a chapel to me and one of the churches that I go to. Everybody that was here, it was... I have to ask you this, Stephen. You gonna come back and visit with us? Probably more times than y'all want me to. <laughs> you know, just being honest. You're warning us, right? <laughs> uh, it's a pretty good warning here up front, you know. <laughs> I am so happy that you came our way. Thank you, sir. And it's been a pleasure to minister to you. What little I've done. You've done a lot. Along the, the, the way, I'm, I'm just glad to be a part of that. And I want you to go from here and make me proud. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. And you folks back home, thank you so much for being here with us at A Cup of Grace and talking with Stephen today. It's been incredible. We'll see you next time. God bless.